Dubai is one of the toughest places in the world to build skyscrapers. In normal countries, you have the bedrock at a very shallow uh, depth, so then you go into it a few meters and that would be the length that you require to hold the high rise. This is actually what we are dealing with here when we design. We have to worry about these sands, which are either loose or cemented. I mean, we're talking about such conditions existing until about 25 or 30 meters below the ground. To reach the bedrock, Nasser's team must drill through 115 feet of sand. They fill the holes with a thick clay slurry to stop them from caving in. Then they drop in long steel cages and pump 100 tons of concrete into each hole. This hardens into a rigid pillar called a foundation pile. In Manhattan, a building like this needs just a handful of piles to stand up. In Dubai, it needs 250. They squash the ground under the skyscraper into a rock-solid foundation. That's the secret of building tall in Dubai. If you actually can visualize it and just look deep into the ground now, you would be actually looking at a concrete jungle with huge poles of one meter aside. We have about 250 of them under this tower, and they stretch down to about 36 to 40 meters deep. A building like the Burside Boulevard needs over 75,000 tons of concrete. Casting it in the desert heat is nearly impossible. Imagine in the summer, the temperature outside rotates around 50 degrees Celsius. Now, that is a lot of heat. If you start in the morning, for example, and you hit the high temperatures at 12, 1, 2 o'clock, then your concrete will simply be spoiled. You cannot. You're going to have such big cracks, you're going to have to destroy it. Cracks can cause buildings to crumble, so Nasser's team always works through the night to keep Dubai's skyline growing. There's more concrete per block under Sheikh Zayed Road than almost any other street in the world. But without these piles, Dubai as we know it would not exist. <laughs> 